Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lunar Lander has successfully touched down on the moon's Mare Crisium. This is a huge deal, not just for Firefly, but for the future of lunar exploration, NASA's Artemis program, and commercial spaceflight as a whole. In this video, we will explore why Blue Ghost Mission 1 matters, and how it fits into NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services CLPS initiative. Break down the cutting-edge experiments on board, and what they mean for future moon missions, and discuss what this mission teaches us about space exploration, and how it compares to similar discoveries. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Mission 1 is a major step in NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program, which partners with private companies to develop cost-effective lunar transportation and infrastructure. The mission supports the Artemis program by testing new technologies essential for long-term lunar exploration. This is just one of several upcoming CLPS missions, which include Astrobotics Peregrine Lander and Intuitive Machines Nova C, each carrying scientific payloads to different regions of the Moon. These missions, alongside companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, are transforming lunar exploration by enabling frequent, commercially operated lunar landings. To establish a sustainable presence on the Moon, future lunar landers must be more capable than ever. Advancements in landing systems, precision navigation, and spacecraft design are crucial for safe operations on the rugged lunar surface. Blue Ghost is helping validate these technologies while testing new ways to deal with lunar dust a persistent challenge since the Apollo era. Among its key payloads, the Electrodynamic Dust Shield EDS, successfully demonstrated an electric field-based method to remove lunar regolith, addressing the issue of dust accumulating on equipment and interfering with mechanical systems. This breakthrough could be vital for maintaining future lunar habitats, rovers, and power systems. Navigation is another major challenge. The Lunar GNSS Receiver Experiment LUGRE, successfully tracked Global Navigation Satellite System GNSS, signals on the Moon for the first time. A critical step toward a Lunar Positioning System LPS, essentially GPS for the Moon. Future missions may rely on a network of navigation satellites to provide accurate positioning for landers, rovers, and astronauts. Blue Ghost's stereo cameras for Lunar Plume, Surface Studies, Scalp SS, captured high-resolution footage of the descent and landing, helping scientists understand lander engine plume effects, how spacecraft engines disturb the Moon's surface. This research will improve future lander designs and minimize damage to lunar habitats and scientific sites. The Lunar Planet Vac, LPV, deployed via Blue Ghost's surface access arm successfully collected and transferred lunar soil using a vacuum-based system. Unlike traditional scooping mechanisms, LPV simplifies sample collection, which is crucial for upcoming lunar mining efforts, and in-situ resource utilization, ISRU. Technologies that will extract oxygen, water, and raw materials from lunar regolith to support sustained human missions. As NASA and private companies work toward establishing a permanent lunar base, understanding the Moon's geology is critical. Future missions, including the VIPER rover, will explore water ice deposits at the lunar poles, which could be used for drinking water, rocket fuel, and life support systems. Blue Ghost's contribution to lunar surface operations provides important data for these next steps. Blue Ghost launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 on January 15, 2025, embarking on a 46-day, 4.5 million kilometer journey to the Moon. On March 2, 2025, it successfully landed in Mare Crisium, a vast lunar basin, and began surface operations immediately. During descent and landing, the Scalp SS cameras captured detailed footage offering insights into how the lander's engine interacted with the lunar surface. Additionally, the lander recorded a lunar sunrise, providing both scientific data 
and breathtaking imagery of the moon's landscape. Following touchdown, mission teams activated the onboard instruments, and several payloads quickly demonstrated their effectiveness. EDS cleared lunar dust, Lugri tracked GNSS signals, and LPV began collecting regolith, confirming their intended functions. With 14 days of planned surface operations, the lander will continue gathering data to support future Artemis missions and commercial lunar exploration. Meanwhile, other CLPS missions are preparing for launch. Astrobotics Peregrine Lander and Intuitive Machines Nova C will deliver additional payloads to the lunar surface, complementing NASA's broader efforts. NASA's Artemis program is also advancing toward returning humans to the moon, supported by lunar water ice exploration efforts, such as the upcoming Viper rover, which will map potential water deposits. Blue Ghost Mission 1 reinforces the growing role of private companies in space exploration, demonstrating how commercial providers like Firefly Aerospace, Astrobotic, and Intuitive Machines can deliver cost-effective lunar solutions under NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program. Looking ahead, lunar navigation is becoming a priority. The success of Lugri contributes to the future development of a Lunar Positioning System LPS a GPS-like network for the moon. Meanwhile, NASA and private companies are working on lunar communication networks to improve connectivity between landers, rovers, and astronauts. At the same time, international competition in lunar exploration is accelerating. China's Chang'e 5 successfully returned lunar samples, and the country is collaborating with Russia to establish a permanent lunar base. Russia's Luna program is also reviving with planned robotic missions. Additionally, Europe and Japan are advancing their own projects, including ESA's Lunar Infrastructure Plans and JAXA's Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, SLIM, which aims for precise landings. Beyond exploration, lunar resources are a major focus. In situ resource utilization, ISRU, Technologies are being developed to extract water, oxygen, and building materials from lunar soil, reducing reliance on Earth-based supply chains. The potential for lunar mining, particularly for rare metals and helium-3, could drive the emergence of a lunar economy, opening up new commercial opportunities. Technological advancements in new propulsion methods, such as nuclear thermal and electric propulsion, could revolutionize lunar and deep space missions. Additionally, the study of lander engine plume effects, like those observed by SCALPS, will help improve future spacecraft designs. AI-driven autonomous robotic exploration will also enhance efficiency in lunar operations, making missions more cost-effective and sustainable. By tackling challenges in dust mitigation, navigation, resource collection, and communication, Blue Ghost is laying the foundation for sustained lunar exploration. This mission marks the beginning of a new space era, where public-private partnerships, advanced technology, and international collaboration drive humanity's return to the moon, not just as visitors, but as future residents. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. What do you think about the future of private space missions? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into Blue Ghost's mission, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next big space update.